Hey guys, I just wanted to add a quick postscript to that last video. Uh, I figured out why I couldn't get my network to pass the T-square test. And um, if, you, if you notice when you go into your options, I couldn't figure out why I wouldn't apply these uh, values here. And the reason why is it says apply default standard errors to vectors with no supported weighting, no supplied weighting. And so what happens is uh, when you get that uh, TDEF file, Trimble Data Exchange Format file with your RTK vectors, it actually has weighting information in it, um, which is, we don't want that. That's no bueno. So let me, let me show you that real quick. Um, let me open that file. So here's that file that we got from TBC um, that we imported, that the ASCII file, and it actually comes in with some error data. So let me just show you that. We're going to go ahead and import it again. And we're going to just put a two behind this. So I don't overwrite the corrected file. So you can see when it comes in to Starnet, that, that Trimble Data Exchange format file, it gives you these G2, G3 lines. These are the weighting. So TBC is calculating a weight for those vectors, and we don't want that. So in order to get this to pass the test and apply those error settings in the project, you got to delete those G2, G3 values, which you can see I did here. Then when you run your network, now it's applying those project settings, and, uh, and it's, it's going to pass the adjustment. Let me uncheck this. And rerun it, sorry. So now you can see it's passed because it's applying those project settings. Okay. So you want to get rid of those G, G2 and G3 values. And that actually makes some sense to me because oftentimes when I'm in TBC um, and I'm, I'm doing a adjustment of a static network in TBC, I find that the error values that TBC calculates from the baseline processor and assigns the weights to those baselines, are, they're actually usually too low. And so I there's a way in TBC to turn that off and have TBC apply your, your hand-injured project settings. And so essentially we're doing this, I'm finding the same thing in uh, Starnet, right? Those those uh, values that come in from TBC, the weight values for the RTK vectors um, are too, uh, they're, they're too low. So Trimble, the baseline processor in Trimble thinks that its baselines are better than it really is. So you want to delete those G2 and G3 lines out of your GPS file, and then Starnet will apply the, the values that you have in your project setting. And you can see now my network passes the test. And again, just to show you guys, you can see I've got values here that are well above the 700s for the land title survey spec. So I just don't think that uh, that RTN data is good enough for uh, land title survey to meet that 700 spec. And I w it is true you can exceed that spec if you put a node on your map. But um, and I believe if we just ran a, a, an adjustment with RTN data and not the total station data, these values would be even worse. Um, so the, the total station vectors are pulling down the overall air ellipse values. So yeah, RTN is not good enough for uh, land title surveys, in my opinion. All right, guys, just wanted to add that postscript. And uh, thanks for watching these videos. And, uh, you know, as I, I work some more with Starnet, I uh, hope, hope to do that in the next few months. Uh, I'll, I'll post some more training videos. Thanks.